All right, what's up, everybody? Merry Christmas to all. It is uh, 1119 Christmas Eve, so Christmas is upon us really quickly. I just wanted to make a quick little video and drop my opinion about this. All right, guys, it's the Roadster right here. Check this out, dude. Wow, this is bigger than I thought. Now, this fucking scooter is a beast. This is... Wow. I really believe this is going to be it right here. Holy moly. Actually, it's not too low. I think I can... I could deal with this. See, the only thing was the handlebars. I don't know if... Uh, you can't put no custom handlebars on that. But it, this looks really sturdy. I think I can get used to this. On throttle. Yeah, guys. This thing looks dope. This is getting close to, like, wee pet status. Let's see here. The build on this is good, too. Yeah. Yeah, this is getting the wee pet status. Whew. Might be my next beast. <laughs> All right. That's right. That's that E-Move Roadster. Now, as I was saying, I was waiting for that B scooter. I had to make a quick video on this, just talking about what I think about this. I had to say I was waiting for that true real beast, like a WePet SS or um, a Ryan or something like that. Something that was kind of on that status. Um... Other than like, because I already knew that with the Dualtron Storm and Storm Limited, if my Wii Pet SS wouldn't have malfunctioned, I probably would still have it. But that thing, that Wii Pet SS is a monster, dude. That thing is insane. Now, I think a lot of these commercialized companies were kind of playing it safe and making something as powerful as a Wii Pet SS or, or maybe just the cooling or whatever it is. Uh, but... This um, E-Move Roadster, I've been following it for a little bit before it even came out, is, uh, yeah, dude, this is going to be pretty fucking crazy. Like, because the specs on it, first of all, you got 15,000 watts total. You got 80 amps per controller. Standard, okay? This is standard. This is not no double tap shit. This is this is constant. It should be constant. So this thing is going to be fast. Now, with the Dualtron uh, Storm Limited, you can maybe get 70, but you're going to have to do the double tap feature, and it only lasts for a short amount of time. So uh, the Dualtron Storm Limited is an all-around scooter for range, speed, to have fun, and all that, but it's not going to be a beast. This Roadster is going to be... The best one out of all of them. It's going to be better than any Wolf. It's going to be better than any Dualtron. If you want speed, um, it's going to kill all those motherfuckers, I believe. Uh, this thing has a 180 amp battery. And also, it has it has 21,700 cells Samsung. Now, there's a difference between the Samsung batteries and the LG batteries. The Samsung batteries is what has that crazy burst of energy. But... I think it's like a trade-off with the LG. I'm not really sure on range, but it should do fine on range. But they say the LGs get a little bit more better range. But I think it's the same if you just don't push it as hard. But I do know they say the Samsung, the chemistry of the Samsung batteries have more oomph and push and all that. And I know that because that's what my uh, Wii Pad SS had. It has um, Samsung cells. So the Samsung cells are just boom like that's what they're known for so i know that this scooter is going to be very very punchy and just insane finally there's something that we can get our hands on easily because i think vuru plans to make a whole bunch of these so that you could just they could just be readily uh ready for purchase rather than orion taking like seven years and four years you pay all this money and you never see your damn scooter um or the slack core, which you have to get from Korea, which the shipping and all that. And then if it malfunctions, maybe with Vuru, you have a chance to get it repaired because they have an actual store here in the U.S. So there's that. Um, 
because you know me, my thing is maintenance as well. Uh, it's going to be easy to do maintenance on a Dualtron. So that's another thing you have to really think about if you're going to use these scooters daily. OK, so the the um, the Roadster is by Vuru. I don't know how their customer service is from fixing things, but the fact that they exist as a company here in the United States is good in and of itself. You know, it it's, gives you some hope there. So. Now, if some of you may have remembered the video that I made on that GT2 Segway, which they were selling for four thousand dollars which the specs on it is not worth the money and all the fanboys, all the people, oh man, cause you can't afford it and all this stupid shit. Like, dude, I have two Dualtrons. The total of that is $12,000. That scooter is 4,000. I have two of them. It's not, I can't afford it. It's just that they were charging too much. And I didn't say it was a bad scooter. I just said for the specs, it's not worth the money. You see what I'm saying? And that's what people don't understand. And why would you want to back a company to keep charging you more money that doesn't make any sense you should want the price to go down you should want to be to pay um what it's truly worth and guess what that scooter's three thousand dollars now the same price i said it should be oh how funny is that but a dualtron storm is still like four thousand dollars because it's worth the money for what you get I'm trying to help you and tell you what it is. And these dudes like, oh, you do, do, come on, man. You got to understand how companies work. They don't care about you. They just want your money, dude. I'm here giving you the real. When you spread that around and people understand, they're going to lower it to what it should be. The scooter game is a relatively new market. So people are going to take advantage of it if they don't know what's going on. Right. So just to get that out the way. Um. So I think this is going to be the king of of the beast now. And I actually was thinking of getting it myself, but, you know, I can't really get it right now. You know, I'm not really getting no scooters. I'm just going to roll on once I do. But if I do, you know, maybe I may turn up and get that one. I don't know. That's what I'm looking at. The only thing that I could say that I don't like on it when I see it, because if I did it, if I did get it, I would use it for work and use it to, you know, put stuff on it and lug it on it and even going out somewhere. The only thing I don't like is that the stem is so wide and locking up. That's what I'm worried about, being able to lock up because the stem is so, you know, big and wide. So, but even if I can't lock up just because of the specs on it, it's really good, you know. Um, and as you can see, I've seen it in person. It is the deck is big. It's actually really big in person. I was like, damn, you know, um, so I had to go to Vuru to pick up some parts for um, the storm. So I said, oh, might as well just, you know, check it out. I saw it in there and I was like, oh, shit, they got it on display. And it is a nice size. Like it's got a nice deck size. I love the deck size. A lot of deck space. Um yeah, it's different when you see it in person. So, yeah, it's got a thumb throttle. You've seen it there. So, yeah, that's just my take on that. Um, honestly, I think this is finally, like, if you want that crazy, fast beast scooter, it's this one. Um, as I even said before, um, even when I had my, my Dualtron Storm Limited, that's not the beast of scooter. That's not fucking with it. Not a Nami. Not any wolf, not any of those fucking scooters are like super beasts. The only one that was beast like that was my Weeped SS. That's it. Because that shit had like 200 amps. And this one has 100, 180 amp um, BMS. So it can do 180. You know, it says, you know, 80 amps each motor. Maybe the peak is like, you know, 90 or something. I don't know. 90 each motor. But yeah. Just want to throw that out. I hope you guys are having a good, you know, Christmas or whatever. But this thing is going to be a fucking crazy ass beast. And if there's any other scooter that I would get, it probably be this one. But anyway, all right. Hope you guys have a good holiday. I'll catch you up later. Oh, yeah. And a um, couple of things I forgot to mention. Important things I forgot to mention. Um, they do come with sign 
sine wave controllers. This is so good. Sine wave controllers, 84 volts, 84 volt system with a 40 amp hour battery. That's just shy of my Storm Limited, which is 45 amp hours, just slightly bigger, but that's still big. That's still a good size battery. That's how big the Thunder 3 is. It's a 40 amp hour battery. So it's a little five. So very, very good specs. Very good specs. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Uh, Merry Christmas. I just I forgot to put that in. It's important info, though. I'll see you guys whenever I see you. I don't know when I'll make a random video, but deuces. Merry Christmas.